In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create three backgrounds for your animations in After Effects. You can download this project file in the description down below, making a new tutorial for each day of the year, day 73 of 365. Let's start with the first and easiest background. Press Ctrl Y to create a solid layer with the color you want for the background. Hit OK. And we are going to make this background with grids. So create another solid layer with Ctrl Y and let's call this grid. Hit OK. And now add the effect grid. And we have to make this grid 3D. Now create a camera with Ctrl Alt Shift C. Make sure to select one of camera and hit OK. Now if we press Alt and click with the mouse wheel, we can move around and you see the grid is too small. So we have to increase the size of the grid. But instead of using the scale, if you see if we scale a lot, it will look blurry. Press Ctrl Shift Y, lock the aspect ratio and increase the resolution like that and hit OK. Now to make the grid to be squares, we have to change this corner point to width slider. Here we can adjust the size of the grid and even increase the width of the lines. We can change the color also. So I'm gonna make this something like pink and let's add a little glow. Increase the glow radius by a bit. Now we have to duplicate this grid layer with Ctrl D press P to see the position and we are going to take this closer to the camera. So set the C position to minus 500. There you go, but now you will see the grid is like too big. So we are going to decrease the grid size here. Also the lines are too thick, so we are going to decrease the border. Something like 3 or 2. And now we already have this background with this parallax effect. Go to the solid layer at the back and let's add a CC vignette. You can increase the amount here. And I'm going to create a 3D text, 3D backgrounds. Make it 3D, I'm gonna center this. And now we have to bring this element in front of the grid. So set the C position to something about the minus 500, like this. Also I'm gonna make the grid at the back bigger. Now we can animate the position of the camera. If you see the border of the grid here, you can increase the grid resolution by selecting the grid and press Ctrl Shift Y and increase the resolution here. I'm gonna assist these keyframes with F9 and we already have this simple 3 background done. So now go with the second method. Now for this second method I already have my 3 text here and we have to create a solid layer so press Ctrl Y and this solid layer should be a white color so change this to white this way it will reflect the light better and let's call this floor bring it down make it 3D press R to see the rotation and change the X rotation to 90 I'm gonna place this below my text and now let's create a camera so we can move around. Press Ctrl Alt Shift C. I'm gonna select the one node camera here and hit OK. Now with Alt and the mouse buttons, I'm gonna move around. First, we are going to make the floor a square. So select the floor and press Ctrl Shift Y. And this both numbers should be the same. So I'm gonna set 2000 here and for the other side. And now we have to create the light layer. So press Ctrl Alt Shift L and we are going to create a point light. Here you can select the light color. This will be the light of your floor. So keep these options and hit OK. Now I'm gonna move the light over here. And as you can see the floor is too small. So press S and increase the scale until you cannot see the edges anymore. And now let's make a grid for the floor. So select the floor layer and duplicate it with Ctrl D. Let's add the effect grid. Let's rename this layer to grid. And we have to move this layer above the floor layer. So press P and increase the number at the middle. But you can see the lines are a little blurry. So press S and bring the scale back to 100. To make the lines of the grid more visible, you have to open the grid layer, go to material options and increase the diffuse to 100%. 
now you can see the lines clearly and let's change corner point to with slider now we have a square grid as you can see here you can still see the edges of the grid right there so we are going to increase the resolution so select the grid layer press ctrl shift y lock the aspect ratio and increase this and hit new also i'm gonna change the camera type to see this better so press ctrl shift y in the camera layer and change this to 35 hit ok now this looks better and now let's make some grid walls so let's duplicate the grid layer with ctrl d press r to see all the rotation and change the x rotation to zero move this back let's change the name to grid wall and let's change the materials option so open the layer go to material options and decrease the diffuse to zero now let's make this layer smaller so press ctrl shift y and decrease here the resolution and to make the other wall duplicate this layer press y to select the anchor point tool now you can move this anchor point and hold ctrl to put the anchor point in one edge now let's rotate this wall so set the y rotation to 90 there you go now we already have these walls and if you don't want the light to affect your layer go to the material options and disable accept light or you can just increase the diffuse and if you change the renderer to cinema 4d you can go to the material options of the floor increase the reflection intensity and this way the floor have reflection now let's go with the third and last method first we're going to create a background the color you want i'm gonna make it white and add a cc vignette now we have to create a solid layer and let's call this particles hit ok and add the effect cc particle world and now we are going to create some particles if you move the time indicator you will see the particles will appear so we have to move this layer back so the particles are already in the scene now make this longer and first let's change the particles and the color so go here to particle and let's select the faded sphere change the color to any color you want I recommend you a brighter and a darker color. Let's set the max opacity to 50, increase the size variation to 100. Now let's create a 3D camera to see how this looks if we move around. And let's move a little bit. So you will see they are all in one spot. So let's spread the particles. Go to producer and here for each radius number we are going to set something like 10 10 for x y and c now you see the particles are too small so go to particle and increase the size to something like 2 and for depth so now they are more visible and as you can see the particles disappear after one second so let's increase the longevity to something like 8 now it's time to change how the particles move around so go to physics and let's change the animation from explosive to con axis and now decrease the gravity to 0.1 so this looks better but they are like a lot of particles so let's decrease the burst rate until an amount you want for me it's this and now let's animate the camera so make a keyframe and move it around and you can see we can move to the sides back and forward but here are really little particles so we can go to the particles here go to the producer and increase the radius c and now they are more spread out on the c axis you can also change the particles so go here to particle and you can select something like three polygon and you have this particle this particle looks pretty cool also you can add a gaussian blur to this particle so add the effect gaussian blur and increase the blur and you will have this also you can even select a 3d cube and you will have a lot of 3d cubes there and all kind of particles but i will keep this one and there you have this last 3D background. 
If this was helpful for you, consider liking and subscribing. Join Animation Essentials in the link in the description and become a confident animator. You can download the break file with all of these methods in the description down below. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.